but I don't want no tea. It gives me a headache. Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, what shall we have then? Coffee. Hello, everyone. Oops. You've caught me. I'm having my morning coffee. Uh, a little bit of pumpkin uh, spice uh, flavor in there. Ah, gotta have coffee. Makes me alive. Makes it feel normal. And I'm starting this early. Mainly because uh, the other day when I finished that other video, I had paint that had been pulled off the bottom um, of the boat and I come to find out this stupid blue tape I bought see how it's a darker blue? I don't know if you can see it or not but uh, the actual real blue tape is a lighter blue this is made by Duck Products don't buy this crap if you're working on models it's cheaper than 3M blue tape but it's stickier, it pulls paint off and everything like that. Don't buy this crap. Um, I was stupid enough to save a buck and I paid for it. So anyway, I when I left you last, I took the bottom of the uh, ship and I airbrushed. Um, I re-airbrushed it all with the dark gray. I was just careful not to get too high up here by the you know, I didn't have much damage or much peel, paint peeled up here by the uh, dark gray blue. I just hit it with the airbrush down here real fine. Mainly it came off along the bottom here and then the sides and stuff like that. Pulled it off of the little uh, vents here and everything. So basically I was able to repaint it and then uh, spray a clear coat of Tamiya on that. So it's all set now. I'm quite happy. I ended up uh, uh, ordering some uh, Tamiya tape from... Uh, Sprue Brothers. I bought some 40 millimeter to my tape. <laughs> I got two of those. I've got uh, two rolls of 10 millimeter to my tape. And I still have my 6 millimeter, which I'm going to use today. My project today is it's about 9.20 right now. Um, my plan is today to tape off the, the top deck, spray paint that, that black brown color. So that's my hope and my dreams today. Uh, so I'm going to start on that. Uh, I'll get back with you when I go ahead and uh, tape this thing off. All right. Well, it's been about an hour. To tape it up. Um, I use the Tamiya 40 millimeter to do the major stuff, as you can see. Six millimeter. Uh, you know, this Tamiya tape is really unique in that I was able to lay it on top. Uh, like say here's the deck and I had it like just a little bit over the edge and then folded it down and it still stayed on top It was easy for me to do that it was nice But the problem is is I noticed it started coming to wanting to flip back up a little bit So what I will do is I will get everything ready to paint I'll come back in here burnish everything down for the third time <laughs> And then I will go out there and spray immediately. Uh, I will spray the dark gray first and then I will do the black brown on top of that. So wish me luck. Um, it's, an, it's gonna be a nice day today, about 80 degrees. So I'm, it's about 10, 20 now. So I'll be heading out there at a good time, nice and warm. It's a little moist, we got a storm coming in tomorrow. I wanna get all this done because tomorrow's gonna be a uh, big chance of rain and a lot of humidity and a high of maybe, if we're lucky, 58 degrees. So I need to get this done today. All right, well, wish me good luck. I just got to go everything, and I'm happy, and we'll see. You know, I just I don't have the bottom here masked because I'm be spraying on top, so I don't have to worry about any overspray won't reach down there for me. So, okay, folks, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, finished uh, airbrushing the top deck, the black brown. I uh, also painted the little uh, rack for the um, torpedo. Uh, I mixed a Vallejo um, Model Air white and Model Air tan together and did that. So give it a little off-white look. I noticed a lot of guys, or at least pictures I've seen, was either a white or a light color. Maybe because of the interior color was that. So finished that.
All right, so I broke off one little rail. I don't know, you can't really see it. There's one little rail that broke off here. So uh, I have to glue that back on. Another one is loose on one side or broke off on one side, so I'll have to fix that. So let's take the tape off. Let's see how it worked out. There we go. We'll just take our time, hopefully. Ugh, come on. Let's get my knife. Let's see if I can cut some of this off. This Tamiya tape's a little tougher in some aspects than other tape, but we'll get it off. No big deal. So I can show you all while I'm doing it. It'd be helpful, wouldn't it? Oh, come on. Why is it being difficult? Let me get a little closer up on this. Little... Oh, come on. But it's Tamiya tape. It's a lot tougher, stickier. I don't know about stickier, but coming off of itself. Oh, good lord. It does it. Oh, man, what I just. Oh, no. My. Gosh darn it, my cutter came off. I'll have to glue that back on. Look at that. Oh, where'd it go? Well, uh, where'd it go? I'll have to find it. It's in here somewhere. There it is. Oh, gosh darn. Well, that's the one thing with photo etched. My cutter came off, so I'll have to glue that back on. Here it is, right here. Oh, come on. There we go. Gosh darn it. Okay, well, I'll have to glue it back on. That's part of the fun of doing photo etch, I guess. I guess I must have hit that part with my fingers too tight and did that. Good news is, it looks like... That's one thing about photo etch. Ugh, looks like the rest is... The tape's not... The tape's pulling off, but the paint's not coming off with it. That's good. Yay. All right, let's get the more of this tape off here. Right now, let's get this off of here and this off of here. All right, there's the big bulk of the stuff there. All right, let's take off some of this smaller stuff right here. Oh, darn it. Come here. Let's get this flake. This, this, is, the, this is the really scary part. Trying to get this stuff off without damaging anything. Ooh. Cool. So far, so good. Now, let's get this other piece off of here. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing or not. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Takes a little bit to do this. There we go. And pull it off. So far, so good. Yay! Okay, now. Well, so far on top, it looks pretty darn good. Let us uh, get this off of here. And there we go. Oh no, I pulled off one of my little panels here. I gotta find that on the tape. There it is. Man, that sucks. All right, well, I'll have to glue that back on and touch it up also. Uh, that's one thing about taping, man. You, you, you put this stuff down and all of a sudden uh, it pulls something off. All right, well, there we go. And it's painted all the colors I want it to be painted. Um,
The black brown is a little more brown than I wanted it to be, but that's all right. I'm going to put a wash on it and stuff like that, so it should be okay. Um, but I'll have to tag that, put that back on, and then paint a little bit. And I'll have to hit some other spots that, you know, but I'll have to fix that front, my front uh, um, cable cutter on the front there. Darn it. Uh, all right. Well, no big deal. I'll get it all done and uh, I'll fix it up and uh, it'll be back as good as new. But there we go. There's our color, our dark gray, dark blue gray, and the um, uh, black brown. So that gives it that effect of, um, you know, the, the, the black they put on there, but it's starting to wear thin a little bit. I put a wash on this thing. It'll even darken up even more. So I'm looking forward to that. And all right, well, that's the final masking stuff. Yay, <laughs> thank God. I'm so tired of masking stuff. I don't like masking, as I've told you before. All right, well, um, I'll get back to you later on when I do more and fix things, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.